everybody, welcome to the Maple Shed. It's Peter Haddlestad again, and this is Tim. Come on into the Maple Shed. We're going to show you a little bit more. Man, where all this community Woo. come from? Oh yeah, Man. we're making syrup. Let's it see is later. nice and toasty. Oh yeah. Should have brought my Hawaiian shirt, Tim. This is like going on Easter vacation down to the little latitudes, warm and humid. So, welcome to the inside of the maple shed. This, uh, what you see in front of us is our maple cooker. Uh, so this is where we make all the ha joy and happiness happen. Right? Woo! Yep. Yeah. So we thought the hard work was over out there with all the collecting of the sap. Uh, no, not to be. This is where we get to cook it. But it takes a long time, Tim. Patience and discipline. Yeah. So we pump it in from up at this tank over here, right? Outside, Peter? Yeah, so there's a big tank outside, 500 gallons. Up into this tank up yonder. Yep, the 100 gallon tank. And where does it go from there, Peter? It zooms and zooms and goes on a little ride down the copper tubing, which runs inside here. Woo! I don't know if you can be, you're going to be able to see it, but woo! Ow! That's hot. Watch your fingers. Oh, don't do that. Be careful. <laughs> don't do this at home. Okay, so inside that tubing runs. There's more tubing here. And then it comes out right here and into the little float pan right down there. Okay? So the whole time it's wrapped around that, the copper tubing's wrapped around that stack. And inside and before it comes out here, it's getting preheated. So we want to use all our energy as best we possibly can. Well, how do we know when it turns into syrup? Peter? Well, that's a great question. So it's cooking inside here in the hooded pan. And you can see there's water dripping right here from the steam. But it's also dripping out over here. So we're trying to get rid of water. So what happens when steam hits a colder surface? Anybody? Anybody? How about condensation? Yeah? Mm -hmm. So it condensates on the inside here and runs down to little channels on the inside and then runs out a little pipe on this side. So we're getting rid of water. That's the idea. We want to get rid of water so we get concentrate the sugars, right? And we make the syrup. So it runs in there and then it comes out on this side. So this is our this is finishing, finishing pan. Area. This is the finishing pan, right? So here's where all we get to measure and check it out to see if we have enough concentrated sugars. To Speaking make of measuring, I'm going to find our hydrometer. Well, you've got it out already. Yeah, all right, right, all measures are good. You ready I'm for this? Step ahead of you, Dan. Okay. All right, so it's going to be cooking, cooking, cooking. So you can see there's a thermometer over here. That's a that's a candy thermometer. Wait, and it starts at zero. What does that mean? Well, zero would be the boiling point of water. I knew that. Yep. yep. So we want syrup. So syrup boils at 7 degrees hotter than water. We don't want to go more than stuff. No, we don't want to go What happens if we go more than stuff? Well, you could burn our precious cargo. Not good. So, Not good. And it has happened. Our staff will sit in here all night yep. long and if they doze off... Yep, they're going to go get a snack and then come back and... You can whoop, smell it going out the done. chimney. It's over. Now we've got caramel candy with putty knife at all the bottom. Yep. That's great. Yeah. Not good. A lot of discipline. So we're not going to do that. Right? No, we're not. No, we're not. So we actually aren't actually cooking syrup or sap right now. But just for demonstration purposes, uh, we're going to use this little tin, tin cup. This is what we do normally. And we use this little scoop. All right? So when we're getting close to syrup and we see the number seven showing up on there. Lucky number. Lucky number. So we'll take a scoop. Very careful because this is going to be super hot, right? Watch your fingers. You've already burned yourself once, Peter. We're going to pour it into the tin cup. Nice. Pour, pour. It right up to the tippity top. This is a micro nice. you nice. So right up to the top. And then we'll gently. Hydrometer. Hydrometer. Meaning. Meaning. Meter, measuring, hydro. Yep. I got water. Ah, but it's different than a thermometer, thermometer which, which measures temperature. Yeah. So this measures water content. Yes. Density of liquid. Oh, I've been waiting to say this word all morning. What is viscosity. It? Yeah, thank you. Viscosity. Just for good luck. Please be served. Please be served. Please be served. 
Go ahead. All right, so as you can see right here yes. at the top, yes. there are two red lines. One's a cold test, one's a hot test. So if you put uh, cold syrup on your pancakes, is it super runny? No. Or is it thick and thick slow? And viscosity is good. It is. High. Okay. Or low. So remember, thick. we're measuring hot, so it's right. going to be just like this, splashy, moving around. Well, we want them to float right. a little bit. We don't want yeah. it to sink. Right, right. Please float. Please float. Okay, we're looking for the red line. Sank. Try again. Try again. Try again. So the if this was syrup, it would float. So that red line would be right at the top of the. We're not there yet. Not there yet. We're gonna be patient. Pour this back in. Yes. Rinse everything off. Eventually, we will get there. Usually, about three in the morning. <laughs> Time and patience. Yes. Listening to good music, reading the book, or right, watching the movie. Okay, so if we end when, because it will happen. It will. It's when, not if, Tim. Correct. Okay, we get syrup. So we're going to draw it off, we'll filter it, and then we'll put it into this puppy right over here. So this is our pasteurizer. And then uh, we filter it again, take out all the bug ants and yes. sugar sand, also filled with it. So those are all the sediments that uh, drop out as you cook it. Right. Okay, the minerals. And we filter all that out so it's nice and clear. But we put it in here and we heat this up to 180 degrees, which kills all the bacteria, right? So then we bottle it. Yay! It, label it and sell it. Yay! Yeah, Fine. So. This is our final product. So what else is up there? Well, we got some samples up there. Uh, of various draws, because we don't draw it all up at the same time. Eventually, we got to cook more of it, more flows in. So this is kind of a visual representation, if you would, of what the weather has been like over previous seasons. If you see a light-colored sample, that means lots of sugar. That means we had really nice warm days and really cold nights. Then we get into the end of the season. This would be a good example. Not very light, Peter. Not very, Not very high, high but some people like it's bitter bud taste, sap. bud sap, because the sap goes up into the tree branches, and then it does not drop below freezing at nighttime, so it stays up there. It doesn't go up and down, up and down, up and down, so it loses its sugar content, and it draws out much darker. So the lighter the color, the more sugar, the more ideal we had over freezing during the day, below freezing at night. This would be an example of, whoa, we're approaching the end of the season. It's not getting cold enough at night. And that's, we have to stop, man. We have to untap all the trees, clean all the lines, and that portion of fun is done. The darker also means that the chemistry of your sap is changing. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> so. Like, uh, some people like the darker amber flavor because it has a stronger maple flavor. Yes. The lighter is uh, what they call the fancy syrup, and it's uh, the most desirable for other things, but the darker is for cooking. Right? A lot of people like it for the cooking and for syrup. And again, this, this is a passion. We've got to fill that tub up with, a, let's say we got 100 gallons of sap up there, Peter. We spin it around the chimney into the finishing pan. How many gallons of syrup might we get out of that 100? We'd be lucky to get uh, two or maybe two or three of these yeah. out of that whole tub. Crazy. Uh, magic is what it is. What a blessing. Magic. What a blessing. And rumor has the Native Americans accidentally discovered this. But they're all bow hunting. You're a bow hunter. Bow hunting. And they missed that buck like you do usually. <laughs> like you found a specific tree yeah. and it was springtime. What was oozing out of that arrow wound? Sap. Sap. And they tasted it and were like, I'm going to bring this home to mom. And she started cooking with it and they were cooked their venison in it. And the venison would be sweet. And they're like, whoa. Super savory. We're on to something here. Yeah. Uh, one of the many tales of how the Native Americans discovered. What, what, a, what a beautiful thing. Maple syrup. This is the real yeah. stuff. Is Aunt Jemima real? It's the real stuff. No, I yeah. What about, I grew up with Log Cabin. Is that stuff. real? Uh, no. Oh, that's corn syrup. Yep. Log cabin, very tiny percentage of that. Well, we had a family of seven. My parents couldn't afford to give all of us real maple syrup. It's a wonderful product, but it's expensive. It's a liquid gold. It's a treat. Enjoy it. 
take care of it. Go tap a tree. Tap oh, pancakes. speaking of oh, tapping, we need to go tap. We're gonna find a helper too. Let's yeah. go find somebody to help us.